So we have Joel Gober here. It's still nothing to be ashamed of to go to an event, to get 20th at a big event with about 100 people or more. This was the or Oktoberfest. You know, it's a very big, you know, it's a big event, strong competitors coming out there. So never to feel bad about something like that. Um, so we're just we're just going to take a look just to kind of get understanding. I want to know, you know, that's what we're here for. We're trying to get ahead of the curve before the most competitive players go, oh, man, I think these guys do good into this. We know as the community, at least our community is going to understand the great wall that, you know, what where we're actually falling off what's coming into meta what's not we see knobs coming into play and all this let's look at what these lists are and see how how what we would consider you know kind of competitive we've, we've seen the trend so far so he has captain bad rook we know that's competitive we has maz rock everybody knows about maz uh knob on smash is quick no enhancement i love to see ed wap was on there as you guys know me and then two war bosses i love to see two war bosses so uh flash gets three units of gretchen i think for three greatness gretchen is great two knob units with power claws you guys know i love that scalpel unit so the fact that he has two is very lovely so i'm a little worried already that he you know went three and two like hey what happened here two units of storm boys you need that cheap chaff mission scoring objective and then oh, okay he brought a gargantuan squig off and one three man unit of squig hog boys uh two trucks so like i said i would have liked to see ed Wapless, but there's no really fed on this list if you start to drop a growl unit you're just gonna run out of skin and just run out of points so i'm not even mad he brought the gargantuan squig off that could be you know that could really matter a lot it makes everything more fun so i'm actually totally here for that uh nothing wrong with not just you know everybody knows but that's kind of list so we were starting to look at here i was expecting maybe more squig hog boys i mean that's what most lists would end up looking like but instead we got to see the gargantuan squig off so i love to see that so let's look at what he did what he had went into uh, now we have a good idea most of his stuff was pretty spot on the nose and then the gargantuan squig off still very competitive you can make a minus one to wound and transport capability you know it's it can be shot out of you know they're really cool um like i said you can use artist nails on them so I'm not saying by any means that it's bad to bring one. I'm just saying we all know that, hey, if you line up against the wrong kind of list, they can actually handle you. So let's take a look at what he did and what happened here. So in his first matchup, we're going to go into Adeptus Custody. So right away, I think unless this guy brought triple tanks, he might be totally fine. So let's see. Shield Captain, uh, Ceaseless Hunter, uh, Champion with the Veil Blade. Veil Blade is an excellent relic and going into to work for the most part. Turning up that OC, being reliable in a fight. Um, Custodes, you got two five-man units. Pros, Kudos, a three-man unit of guardians is he does he doesn't have a character with them so i mean it's just three terminators i mean there's their final lars uh a land raider a grav tank and then wardens so um people do like the land raider just because you know 240 points is a great point cost for that when i'm seeing a more high-end kind of custodes list you tend to bring to be more bodies uh the more bodies end up play just being more useful all across the play and then this gravis tank you know it's very effective actually even to a squig off but if it just rolls ones or anything happens, you just roll some saves as the orc player, you'll be fine. So um, all in all, this, you know, it's 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 all right. We all know that the blade champion with the wardens getting that one per phase for a feel no pain. We all know their strats, their ability to fight and such. But having boss, having that gargantuan squig off. Um, let me let me see. I then wanted to take one more peep because I want it. What did he have possibly in there? You think he put? Yeah, I mean he could have put knobs in there. I mean having so many knobs on that list, um, you could fight in death with the knobs is going to be a good issue, the problem solver here. Because even if you reduce their damage to one, just the volume of it at being at it, the good strength that it is at strength ten on the wall, you're just able to go in there and go, okay, I'm going to fight here, I'm going to fight in death here. We're going to trade over here, and then you lost most of your army, and I'm still playing. Maz himself can choke people up, and uh, the three man unit can kind of skirmish. Plus this three man unit of Terminator mix it so you're not really that worried about their small arms fire because a big unit can actually just throttle into you especially with their captain um but a three-man unit you know their small arms fire ain't gonna matter so 95 points right there great win just smashed him he crumple gets so let's see what he actually lost maybe something that can shoot oh death guard and mortarion what we were just trying to talk about so we had the biologist putrefy i believe these guys actually allow you to go back or change your contagion i believe um i can look at it again to be sure before i'm making things up or you can correct me in chat but yeah so you got the biologist putrefyer foul blight spawn and mortaria so um sorry my cat just dropped something back there so we got plague burst oh sorry plague marines uh big unit another large unit okay because if you're going to put the character in there what you're looking for here is you're looking to ch change the contagion tell these guys i'm gonna you know um they're gonna make either us minus one to hit or they're gonna make the, they're themselves they are gonna be lethal um they're gonna look for sustain they're gonna just look for the throttle their damage make us harder to get hit uh to be able to reliably hit them and then they're gonna actually be able to beat us in fights with these you know plague marines which for us usually we're like what we'll take these guys out um but he does bring a lot of these bricks see so normally you're like well my knobs will handle it yeah well your knobs will handle them and then the next unit 
um, will end up being a problem. They do have blight launchers, as you can see here. They have the plague plasma guns. They have the spewers. So they all get all their free, uh, you know, all their war gear and their weapons. So at first you're like, they're just plague, they're just Marines. And we know normally Marines are like, we'll just crump them. But when they have the ability to be minus when they hit, and then now they're sitting at the toughness five, it's a little annoying for us and something like at least for normal orc boys and such, which isn't on the other list, but I just pointing out as a whole for orc players. Cause remember, this is for all of our community to pay attention to, um, what could be problematic. Oh, and we were talking about this last week. Rhino rush is the more competitive, uh, way we would see these like I, I think at least is a very competitive way to play in, into death guard i mean there's you're you're clogging the table with essentially a horde with special weapons um with all these defensive buffs these abilities to actually fight with you one and toe to toe give themselves some ap with their little plague knives you know they're going against most infantry when they're on fours and threes whatever it is maybe um and then you got three three plague burst crawlers and then you want more to earn than one nurgling unit you could use this to bother harass people or block people do your secondaries or somewhere where you know they're going to fight them get within range and make them impossible to win in a fight if you really have to right because i get close to you with the nurglings and makes you it's a minus one to hit on top of your minus one weapon skill um so as a whole if you're hitting on threes all of a sudden you're hitting them five uh and then yeah morty makes those plague burst crawlers tough and then when he decides to go in he goes in so yeah these biologist fuser fires uh, maybe i'll look it up in a second or such um, but i don't want to slow it down but i'm very much sure that that's what they do um so he did end up losing that with a 37 point win maybe chat will correct me and make sure i'm correct on that ability um but let me look at his next matchup i do want to pull up that rule though do, 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 do. let's look at this next match there mm -hmm. yeah, i'm still looking at it because now i'm like exactly i should know exactly what that thing says even though i was saying hypothetically yeah he gives them lethal hits and they can be rolled on criticals on fives and stents fives instead of sixes oh and you can do strats okay yeah and you can do the grenade strat which is great because everybody knows as an orc player how much we like grenade strats so for 50 points you're just making that unit actually effective able to kill throw mortals into yeah yeah okay then they're gonna that's gonna be annoying for orc characters um yeah wait did i even say morty was on this list because he wasn't is this a different list or is this oh this is a different orc list that dude had to play orcs twice okay cool okay and I'm, i think this list didn't end up having mortarion yeah, I was like, did I just not plus anything? That happens sometimes, guys, when you press the same list twice and you're like, wait a second, is this the same thing? Yeah, Scott, they can try to mess that up. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I know you guys are like, whoa, what just happened? Yeah, okay, making sure I didn't mess that up. So right away, we're looking at the other list. As you can see, as I pulled up, there's no Morty on this list. Uh, and that actually does matter, in my opinion. Morty himself is one of those things that you can just interject into a, a orc army and kind of be like, here, deal with this. And we're like, oh, man, I mean, we can, we really can, but it could throw off everything if we don't or um change the pace or throw our assets out in the open so i do believe orcs actually have potential to kill morty we have we do have a bunch of rules that we could but that doesn't mean we assuredly would and it does change the matchup if we don't uh, let's see what this looks, looks like we have uh biologist putrefires lord of virulence uh typhus typhus is pretty great in my opinion problematic not you know not great for us but he's annoying um, he's already makes you minus one to hit. So that's why he's pretty great. At least going into us, he's a problem because like I said before, minus one from their contagion. And then we're also minus one to that. So it would change your actual, uh, weapon skill to four plus if you're orc hitting on threes normally change it to a fours and then he makes you minus one to hit. So then you're in the fives. So that's why it would be a problem. And that's also why I'm against knobs with, uh, knobs with like pain boys and stuff like that i know players do it and i know they're great players for the most part i'm just saying why once we see death guard be more common why it would not be ideal to do that um and then he also has psychic powers and that's super annoying so we got plague marines plague marines rhino just one and then here's some more uh death shrouds mephetic blight haulers i don't i think the the drones are a little better but that's fine 100 points for a little durable annoying thing is cool three plague burst crawlers without morty they don't, they're not reliable with that and then pox walkers uh brigands and then a carnival okay so in other matchups that might be problematic like oh no you know uh brigands and carnivores are oh wow but no i think morty's tougher and such maybe he just didn't want to bring him he didn't have them uh less you know press problem less problematic list for orcs especially if you just played played into that rhino rush list you're going to be really keen on already what problems went wrong your mind's already set so joel read redemption right there and he just crumped that gift for 97 points he made sure he got it back uh for gork and mork Ooh, and then he you know like i said especially if you've just lost to that faction you're going to be like your rule mindset's going to be going to be on um, play right there you're gonna remember exactly what happened so here we have the tyranid vanguard onslaught okay so yeah vanguard onslaught i'd like to know who in first here um he did you know our joel did lose this matchup as well this was his second loss so let's see what this looks like we have a death leaper death leapers are great for point and then a winged prime okay he has three of those um that's uh, you know 
these guys were not good in the index. So did something change that I'm not aware of that I don't remember off the top of my head? Um, I got to look into that. So three gargoyles, moving shenanigans, secondary score, and they're just great. Honestly, gargoyles are great. I'm surprised I haven't seen more lists with like all two at least, but three, I can see them definitely utilizing. The triple exocrine, not surprised at all. Not surprised at all. Uh, minimum of two on every tier in the list. So yeah. Maliceptors. Maliceptors is one of those factions. As long as nothing changed, I'm, I mean, units, I'm saying that uh, they have a minus one to hit, then they have a built-in four of invuln. So they're just super annoying on their own. They have damage three melee. They have damage three psychic. Um, so they're annoying and just for orcs as a whole. Neural Lictors. Neural Lictors, is, these guys want to give you battle shock and be annoying and such. Uh, stand on objectives. Tyrannid as a whole are just trying to be annoying, especially with all these units. He's probably trying to get behind on the lines or stand in the middle of the board. He's going to have some fixed secondaries that he's trying to pull out here. Uh, Ripper Swarms, just individual ones, individual ones. He doesn't have power wars. Oh, but instead he has all these melee warriors. That's a little different. Just get him on the table. Um, Vanguard Onslaught has just different like deployment shenanigans and moving like that. The ability to fall back and charge. Uh, yeah, so the, they're trying to be mobile and kind of pressure you and then possibly die after that. We have Tyranid Warriors with bio weapons. Three bricks of that for 170 points. I don't, you know, I have to take another look at their data sheets. I didn't think that was really that competitive. So, um, but when you're playing against with a Tyranid list with this much, okay, and he has multiple wing primes, so that's probably what he happened with them. Um, when you're playing with this many kind of key elements, shooting, um, in, infiltrating, shenanigans, battle shock, you could just fail too many battle shocks when turn and just lose. And he ended up putting up it's a good, you know, it's a good win you know, loss. I mean, those are all 66 points still meant you were competitive, you were fighting, you were in there. Um, but something to keep out as a whole, Tyranids are a problem. I mean, that's why you have to know kind of the rules a little bit more and everything. Um, Vanguard Onslaught is one of those and it's a shenanigan-y and cagey and cheeky and can catch you off guard if you're really not aware of uh, what they can do. So it's really good to ask the questions and I still think though as a whole, be a bit more aggressive there as an orc player because if you are kind of reactively reacting, that's what the Tyranid player wants you to do and then you end up losing that just because you delayed on your reaction uh here's his last matchup chaos marine uh master possession a warp sitch uh warp smith <laughs> a warp sitch a, a warp smith with the eye of zeech a cultist mob legionaries 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 and four le okay four units of legionaries uh chaos predator annihilator chosen chosen are competitive as we know uh forge fiends with ectoplasms hell brutes uh with missile launchers twin last cannons and noise marines noise marines i've you know i've heard they're not that bad anymore which is great i really like noise marines i'm a fan of fabia's bow um obliterators possess raptors okay so this is like nothing that's like known just i'm just gonna be off the front no, just say off the rip off the top meta like rick you know top rope with the meta oh there's none of that you know forging with the nurgle <laughs> undivided uh those are probably the two chosen and um, I'm saying the mark was under that and such like that and having a lot of plague marines just play the mission with all their little marks with Nurgle, Slun, Ash I'm going to fight I'm going to shoot I'm going to get wounding better I'm going to get more hits uh, that's okay but when you're going against orcs you know and, and as we see we have the Gargantuan Squigoth we have all this stuff like that that's also probably how that Tyranid list was able to kind of maneuver they had to deal with the Gargantuan Squigoth even though they probably couldn't kill it and everything they were just maneuvering the rest of the table and not winning on points um, yeah that's that, that's pretty cool I just wanted to show that so as we've seen Death Guard was one of them a competitive Rhino Rish death card list i would say like if let's just say we're scaling a tier to e tier from what we're aware of with these uh with this kind of list this was straight up like at least a b plus list um if you're this guy was definitely bringing his game again if you're bringing gargantuan squig off people can think it's memeish it's not memeish you're actually going to do quite well with that gargantuan squig off it's a matchup kind of dependent thing and then you also being able to pull the trigger when it's time to do it but he has the tools i mean he has his trucks for the knobs he has um mazrog he has flash kits you know for shooting platforms so he's he's competing he brought what we know was competitive things the only thing missing at all on this list would be edwap is kill chopper and that, that wouldn't have swung his matchups in those games most likely um so his list was at least a B plus, I would say, on competitiveness, uh, what we understand from orcs and what tools and stuff you would need for bringing a Gargantuan Squigoth. We've seen him really do well. And you see he still dealt with the Death Guard problem and the Tyranid problem, which actually reflects our stash and fat. Sorry, our, our faction by faction stats that we looked up over here.